So let's look at the following electric circuit in which we have two capacitors which are placed in parallel and we have a single capacitor as shown. So this is a closed circuit and we have a battery which creates an electric potential difference and allows charge to collect on our capacitors. So we essentially want to find the capacitance of a single equivalent capacitor that will replace the capacitors shown in this electric circuit. So we essentially want to combine these three capacitors in such a way so that that single equivalent capaci capacitor carries the same exact quantity of electric charge over the same exact voltage difference. So let's assume that capacitance C1, C2, and C3 are equal, and let's suppose they're equal to just C. So how exactly are we going to go about solving this problem? Well, we're going to break this down into two steps. In the first step, we only want to examine this section of our electric circuit. So we want to combine these two capacitors which are in parallel to one another into a single equivalent capacitor and let's call that capacitor C parallel. Now what exactly is the capacitance of C parallel? Well by the definition of our capacitors in parallel to find the total capacitance we simply sum up these two capacitance. So C parallel of this single equivalent capacitor that will replace these two parallel plate capacitors which are in parallel is equal to C2 plus C3. Now C2 is equal to C3 is equal to C. So these two quantities we can replace those with simply C and we get our C parallel is equal to 2C as we see in this result. Now let's move on to the second step. In the second step now we want to treat these two capacitors as if they were in series which they actually are in this diagram. So we want to combine these into a single equivalent capacitor. So how exactly are we going to go about calculating the capacitance of this single capacitor as a result of these two capacitors in series or next to one another? Well, the equation that we learned in the previous lecture is given by the following formula. 1 divided by the equivalent capacitance is equal to 1 divided by C parallel plus 1 divided by C1. Now C1 is equal to C and C parallel is equal to 2C from step 1. So we see 1 divided by 2C plus 1 divided by C is equal to 1 divided by C equivalent. Now we want to combine these two fractions. So that means our denominator becomes 2C. We multiply this top by 2C, this by C. We add them up and we have 3 divided by 2C. Now notice this should be brought to the bottom and we have 1 divided by C equivalent is equal to 1 divided by 2C divided by 3. So these two fractions are equivalent. But this fraction gives us exactly what the equivalent capacitance is. It's 2C divided by 3. So this is the equivalent capacitance of the entire combination of these three capacitors. So if we take a single capacitor and place it into our electric circuit and we give that capacitor a capacitance equal to 2 multiplied by C divided by 3, this capacitor will store the same exact quantity of electric charge over the same exact voltage difference as these three capacitors will.